Good morning, friends. Welcome back to ACF Kids Online. I'm Miss Julie, and I'm, of course, so excited to have you back with me today. We have been talking all about how someone has a plan for us. Do you remember who has a plan for you? That's right, God has a plan for me. Good job, friends, you remembered. Okay, now we've been working on a very special plan. Do you remember the bowl that we got last week? Okay, if you don't have that bowl, in a minute when I send you off, I need you to get your bowl that you got last week, but then we're gonna add step two of our plan, which is I want you to find some rolled up socks or some balls in your house and bring them back with your bowl, okay? So you need your bowl, and you need two balls or two pairs of rolled up socks. Are you ready? You're gonna have a 10 second countdown. Okay, go get your bowl and socks. Okay, friends, did you do it? Great job. We've got our bowl, we've got our two pairs of socks, and we're gonna put them in the bowl. Do you see that? Put them in your bowl, okay? Let me see you guys do it. Great job. Okay, we've completed step two of my plan. Now keep this safe, and next week, bring it back right here, and we're gonna go to step three of the plan. I bet you can't wait to see what it is. Anybody want to guess what we're making here? Those are good guesses. We'll see if you're right. Okay, guys, I think our friends in the clubhouse are ready to show us what's up today. But first, we got to sing and dance. So up on your feet and let's worship. My God. My God. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, 
says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. I know that I can trust him. No matter what the season. His plans are for a reason. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I know is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 cause love will never change. I know they are good, I know they are best. The reason I know is because I said He's got a plan for me, He's got a plan for me, He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me, He's got a plan. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. plan. One of my jobs for the party is to be an ice cream scooper. So I thought I better start practice scooping. I have this big tub of yummy vanilla ice cream to use for practicing. Oh, and this big spoon. Let's scoop. Man, this is harder than I thought. This ice cream is really hard, and this spoon isn't working. Do you see something else I could use? The ice cream scoop? Great idea! Here we go, let's scoop. Wow, this ice cream is really, really hard, and this scoop isn't working either. I know what I can try. I can use this shovel. Surely it'll scoop this hard ice cream. Uh, not even the shovel can scoop this hard ice cream. I might have to wait for it to soften up a bit, but I want to practice scooping now. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Having some trouble, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I told Kai I would help him with the ice cream sundae party plans by scooping the ice cream. But the ice cream is much too hard to scoop. I've tried everything. That does sound hard. It's true. I have a story about someone else with a hard thing to do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? 
Okay, Stormy Jane, you can come out of your doghouse now. I know it was hard to wait in there, but the rain has stopped and you can come out and play. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I have a great story for you about someone who did something very hard. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is Joseph. Joseph trusted God's plan. Joseph worked at a big palace in Egypt for a man named Potiphar. Stormy Jane, you're not Potiphar. Get out of the story, silly dog. That's better. While Joseph worked at the palace, he tried to do a good job. If Potiphar told him to get food, Joseph got him food. If Potiphar said the floors needed sweeping, Joseph swept. Joseph did whatever Potiphar told him to do, and Joseph trusted God's plan for him. Then one day, somebody said Joseph did something very wrong. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. But Joseph didn't do it. Joseph was sent to jail anyway. Ugh, that would be very hard. Joseph didn't do anything wrong, but he was put in jail. Now at this point in the story, we might wonder if God really had a plan because this was so hard for Joseph. But Joseph knew God loved him and Joseph knew God was always with him. And so even though things were hard, Joseph trusted God's plan. Do you wanna hear what Joseph did even though it was hard? Well, while he was in jail, Joseph helped the other people in there. The guards saw him doing such a good job, they even put him in charge. Joseph trusted God's plan and God's plan for Joseph isn't done yet. There's a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. I love this story because it teaches us that we can trust God even when things are hard. Because God loves us, God's with us, and God's got a plan for us. Oh, hey Ollie! Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph was in a hard place, but he trusted God's plan to see him through. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Joseph was having a hard time, but he knew he could trust God's plan. Joseph knew that God loved him and was always with him. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! You know what? This ice cream is still too hard to scoop, but I can be a helper while I wait and put up the rest of these decorations. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Wow, what a story. Joseph trusted God's plan, even when it got hard and difficult, even when he didn't exactly know what was going on. Joseph believed that God had good things for him, that God loved him, and that God was with him. And the same is true for you and me. God loves us and he's with us, and he has a great plan for our lives, right? Okay, well, we're gonna play a game to show us about following a plan. So here's my plan. I'm going to take all these cards I have printed out here and I'm going to mix them all up, okay? And then I'm going to draw one card and whatever the card says, we have to follow the plan and do the movement that it says. Now, if you want to play this at home, your parents can take this list of exercises, write them down on a bunch of pieces of paper, mix them up and y'all can draw them yourselves and you can see if you guys can follow a plan. But we're gonna do it right here together and we're gonna all follow the plan together. Are you ready? Okay, first one is twisting. Can I see you twist? You gotta follow the plan, right? 
Okay, we're gonna keep going until I say freeze, okay? And when I say freeze, I'm gonna draw the next card. You ready? Freeze. Okay, next card. Jumping. Okay, can you jump for me? You gotta keep jumping until I yell freeze. Freeze. Good job. Oh, that was tiring. Okay, oh, this one's a hard one. Squatting, get your feet apart. Hands out, squat up and down, up and down. Keep squatting, keep squatting. Freeze. Okay, good job. Let's see what the next one is. <gasps> Patting your head. Can everybody pat their head with me? Okay, keep going until I yell freeze. Freeze. Good job. Whew, this is so fun, but it is so tiring, okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, are you ready? Marching. Okay, can everybody march with me? Okay, march until I say freeze. Freeze. Okay, good job. Okay. Ooh, I love this one. Tiptoeing. Let's tiptoe around the room. Keep tiptoeing. I'm gonna tiptoe up and get our next one and keep going till I say freeze. And freeze. Okay, last one. Touching your toes. Everybody reach over, touch your toes, and hold it until I say freeze. Freeze. Whew. Are you worn out? That was fun and tiring, right? You guys did a great job of following the plan on each of those cards. Now, in our story, Joseph trusted that God's plan was good, even when it was hard. Joseph worked for a man named... Potiphar, that's right. And he did whatever Potiphar told him to do. But one day someone said that Joseph was doing something wrong and Potiphar believed them and Joseph got thrown into jail. That must have been so scary and so hard. Joseph knew though that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him. So even though things were hard, Joseph trusted God's plan. And we can trust God even when things are hard in our lives because God loves us and he's with us and he's got a plan for us. Who has a plan for you? That's right, friends. God has a plan for me. Okay, it's been so much fun doing our story and doing our game together. I want to say our Bible verse one more time together. Are you ready? Okay. For I know... The plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's do it one more time. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Great job, friends. Before we go today, let's pray and thank God for his plan for our lives. Dear God, thank you so much for the plan that you have for each of our lives. For each of these kids watching, God, you have such a special plan for their lives. God, even when we have hard things happen, when we get frustrated with our family, or we get mad about something that happens at home, or things don't go our way, God, help us to remember that you have a plan for us and that you love us and that we can trust your plan for our lives and that we can keep going because you are with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, friends. Have a great day. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know.